Good question. <laughs> there are all kinds of pests. We live in a Pandora's box. Aphids and mealybugs yes. will go after tender new growth, by and large. Uh, succulents are fairly pest free. Basically what I do when I when I see a mealybug infestation and I do watch the leaf axles for sign of mealybugs and also I watch for aphids on bloom stalks and I just spray them with rubbing alcohol. I like rubbing alcohol because it's natural and it immediately evaporates and it, it's kind of fun to watch the, the bugs explode. <laughs> but. Um, you know, I was just talking to a grower. You learn so much from growers. And she says that she uses Windex. Like with scale, you do a treatment with a horticultural oil. And there are natural horticultural oils. Snails are a big deal because once damaged, a succulent leaf is damaged forever and they don't regrow that quickly. So you want to be on top of your snails and the best organic method that isn't going to hurt your uh, hurt the environment or your animals like dogs that'll eat anything I happen to have one a sluggo okay I am very lazy about fertilizing my succulents and I recently was honored by a visit by one of the top uh, agave breeders in the United States. You can see the resulting video on my YouTube channel. And uh, he, he looked at he looked at this plant growing in my my front garden. Uh, agave lothantha quadricolor. Isn't it stunning? But I said to him, world class expert on agave. So I said, how come it's so yellow? and it doesn't offset, and it doesn't look as good as it did when I got it from the nursery. Is there some horrible thing wrong with it? And he said, it looks like it needs fertilizer. Yes. Fertilize your plants, or you could be very embarrassed at some point by having a world-class expert come visit and ask you why you haven't. Container-grown succulents will benefit by being fertilized at the start of their growth season in spring. I prefer a triple 15, yes. but basically you want a balanced fertilizer that you apply in a dilute or lessened dose at the start of the growing season. She says, when I took the, pot, the plants out of their pots, did I break open the root ball? No, I just, just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to tumble out from their own weight. So I pressed down on the root ball to anchor them. And because their chins were resting on the rim of the pot and the root ball is lower, that anchored them enough. Yeah. But remember, the uh, root ball is less important to the plant than the rosette because that's what it'll live off of if it doesn't have its roots or they're somehow compromised. Oh, okay. So now that I have made this, where am I going to put it? Will it grow indoors? Succulents, by and large, prefer to be outdoors. And since we live in Southern California, they should enjoy an outdoor climate and environment with the breezes <laughs> and the fresh air and the, and the sunshine. Uh, there are indoor succulents, though, but these are not among them. OK? How often would I water it? Well, I would water it depending on how hot it was, how dry out it was, how much sun it was getting. But I would probably give it a good watering right over the top of the core line at least once a week. Uh, and, and also, you know, I'm going to want those roots of the cuttings to get started and the root balls to settle in. So whoever takes this home, whether it's somebody that Ron gives it to, please let me photograph it before you leave with it, if that's the case. Uh, or if it goes into Roger's inventory, it should probably be watered fairly soon, just to settle everything in. But this time of the year, uh, once a week, minimum. Oh, thank you.